Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are one day closer to EA Access and I want to make one last video for you guys talking about tips and tricks and how to stay prepared. Last minute info for you guys as we head into EA Access. We're literally like a day away from at least the first uh, what they call soft patch or soft release of EA Access being opened up to us as FIFA Ultimate Team players. Um, and I want to get you guys ready for those uh, for that time that is coming really soon where we're actually going to get on to FIFA 20 and we don't have to look at the demo or footbin or foothead all the time anymore. We're actually going to be able to start managing our FIFA Ultimate Team clubs and play the actual game of FIFA 20, which I'm super duper stoked about and I'm sure you guys are as well. But I have a few points that I want to run through today in this video. It's going to be kind of a shorter one probably, um, just talking about some of the things that you need to keep in mind when you are getting into EA Access for the first time, just kind of getting your mind right and get, getting prepared um, for this EA Access time period, which is a big time period on FIFA Ultimate Team, getting into the game early. The first thing, and I want you guys to wrap your minds around this, this is the most important thing that I'm going to talk about, and you're going to hear me mention it many times. You're going to want to stay efficient as possible, as efficient as possible with EA Access because you're on the clock at all times. Now, if you extend, if you choose to extend your EA Access, your early trials of FIFA 20 by using a glitch or using some sort of extra accounts glitch method, um, I'm not sure if I'll be doing that kind of glitch. I'll hopefully we'll be able to find a glitch where I don't have to spend extra money buying more EA Access subscriptions. I'm not a fan of that, but if I could find a glitch like last year where you just kind of get into the game, somehow do a glitch where you don't have to buy EA Access more than once and it kind of stops your time, then you can take your time on a lot more things and when your time is not limited. But if you're on that 10 hour, uh, if you're not doing a glitch or it's, it's too hard to do, if there's no glitches out there, or you don't want to spend the extra money to buy EA Access on multiple accounts, you're going to have to be as efficient as possible. So like the only, let's say if you're opening FIFA points, um, you have to obviously load up those FIFA points on the console. You cannot go into FIFA 20 on the the web app as far as we know and buy FIFA points and stack them up or put in a code you actually have to do that on your console for FIFA 20 and it's past FIFA it's been the same so if you have EA access and you're gonna open packs then definitely get on put those codes in redeem your gift cards that you purchased and then get those points stored up but then I would log out right away kind of reset your time stop your time and think okay what am I gonna do from here uh, the most efficient way, it's not the most fun way, but it's the most efficient if you're only going to have 10 hours of access, would be to probably open those packs on the web app because the web app should be coming out soon after or at the same time as EA Access does. And that would give you an opportunity to not use your EA Access time. Even though it's not as fun, you don't get to see the pack animation and stuff, but you get to save your 10 hours and you can you be more useful inside of the game if you would then go and open up those packs on the web app. So that would, that's what I would recommend if you're if you're just using your 10 hours and just 10 hours only. Um, use the web app to look at uh, objectives, to build your concept squads, and even to buy players on the market. Literally, if you're only using 10 hours of EA Access, get on the game only when you want to play the game. When you're going to play Rivals, when you're going to play Squad Battles, or do Draft, uh, that's the only time that I would actually get on EA Access. Don't for, please, don't trade on EA Access if you're only going to be on that 10 hour time frame. If you're going to be doing the glitches and stuff, then feel free, of course, to do that. But you only have 10 hours. Most people will just have 10 hours. So go over and do a lot of that stuff on the web app. The web app is your friend for those first couple of days before you know we have that time period where we are in the EA Access and the web app stage. Before we get to the early access and everybody is on that time crunch, uh, using the web app to your advantage is going to be huge if you only do have those 10 hours. And I talked about the games. That's one other thing that I want to mention on. Make sure that when you get into FIFA Ultimate Team for the very first time, if you're loading up points or you're going to start playing a game, make sure you go in when you get into FIFA 20 and check to see when the rewards times are, if they are listed. Rivals rewards and squad battles rewards because we haven't had any information on if those are going to change but if those change that will drastically change what you want to do inside of the game let's say that rivals rewards are still at the same time it is early thursday morning um 8 a.m uk i think it's like 3 a.m here in the u.s that is when rivals and foot champions rewards have originally been put out if we get on ea access 
if we get into FIFA 20 um, through EA Access on Wednesday, a day before those rewards come out, or even like 12 hours before those rewards come out, and you have the ability to play games, spam Rivals games, because there will be Rivals rewards coming out, and it'll be very easy to place in a higher division, because there's so fewer people on the game at that time period. So that's one note that I have to uh, for you guys as well. That's that's a big key. That's a big tip. Like, look at those rewards when you get into the game. Look and see what is going to be um, though on those reward screens and on those reward pages, because that's that could drastically change your objectives and your goals for playing games when you do get into FIFA Ultimate Team. And again. One thing I would say to get prepared as well is don't go into the FIFA Ultimate Team. You open up your welcome backpacks. You open up your FIFA points or whatever. Don't have any, like, make sure you have an idea. That's what I'm trying to say. Make sure you have an idea of what kind of squad that you want to build, whether it be a cheap Bundesliga squad like this one, or you're going to be dropping some FIFA points, you're going to have some coins, and you're going to be uh, spending a lot of money on players. Make sure you have an idea and a plan. I can't stress this enough, guys. Have a plan heading into FIFA 20 in terms of a squad, in terms of what you want to do in terms of trading or opening your FIFA points or playing games. When you go in and you have a plan and you can stick to that plan, then you're going to be the most efficient. If you don't, you're going to be kind of sitting there like, okay, well, what do I do next? I just played a couple games of Rivals, opened up my packs. I have this kind of okay team. What am I going to do from here? So I would definitely recommend having a plan when you get into the game. That's kind of the most important feature. And one other thing that I want to mention as well, I can't really show you this right now because I am on the demo, which I'm tired of being on. I already said it once, but I'm tired of being on this demo. Give me the real game, please, EA. When you close the game, don't just turn your console off. Don't just hit the PS button and go to turn the console off. Make sure that you go out to the home screen and that you click and close the application right there because that is going to stop your time like this. It's going to stop your time right away. But if you actually turn your console off, the time might run a little bit more until your the app actually closes. I've had it happen before where your time will actually run for a little while. Um, and that just eats up time that you don't want to have eaten up. So make sure that you close the app. Make sure you close the app every time you leave FIFA Ultimate Team or FIFA in general during that 10 hour time frame. Uh, and then of course, have fun. That's the main point of this game. If you're opening packs, good luck. Make sure that you enter those on console and then decide what you want to do if you want to open them on console. Um, I would definitely recommend opening them as early as possible. Going back to the kind of pack opening side of things, make sure you open those packs as early as you can to get the most coin value out of some of those lower tier players. And uh, of course, you know, taking those players and checking out their price and their worth on the transfer market because right away at the beginning of the game, you might have somebody like this Lamer card or Mbabu or Mukiele. People are getting onto the game right away and they're selling some players and they're trying to build teams at the same time. People are opening packs so you have some supply coming on the market. Make sure that you check the prices of players and you check the price of literally everything that you pack. Probably store the consumables in your club um, from your welcome back packs or your FIFA point packs, either or. And then um, also just check those prices on the market because that is a big time key for starting off the game in FIFA 20. But boys, it is almost here. Literally, we have one more day until this FIFA at web app will open up and until we do get uh, the FIFA 20 EA access. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel here because I will be posting videos, I will be posting content on trading on the, the web app on EA access, and if there are glitches available, you will definitely see me posting videos about how to do those glitches um, if they are good ones. If they're not good ones and they require you pay, to pay extra money, um, I might cover them, but not as in depth if it's an actual free glitch like last year where you could somehow stop the timer from counting your EA access time on the game. That was the most key uh, glitch, I guess you could say, um, from last year. So if we have something like that again, I'll be here covering it. But then, of course, trading information. And then we haven't got pitch notes yet. EA needs to drop pitch notes for the icons and for a lot of other information that we have question marks about. 
they're really waiting a long time to get us this information and that's honestly uh, not that good in my opinion so hopefully we get that information soon and hopefully you guys are excited for the web app if you enjoyed this video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any last minute questions for EA access but this should set you up you should be good to go I'll be streaming live on twitch.tv backslash the foot accountant. Check my other links in the description as well. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.